from the inside. You know what I'm saying? But if I put my palm horizontal to my elbow down, now I'm dead. Now I can actually start moving. But you gotta make sure all these holes are, are cleaned up before you start moving. You just can't move in bars. Because you're gonna get arm bars like this. It doesn't matter. The guy is perfect at arm bars. He's perfect at triangles. He's perfect at almost blocks. Or no. So we already know that. All those moves are basic to us. So you gotta remember that. So now I'm here. My hands on this armpit, my elbows are tight. I'm looking up. What's gonna happen now is I'm gonna go cross body, looking for my C cup. We talked about this in our drills. That C cup is huge. I'm looking to grab the wrist. Those two bones right there, I'm looking to get control of those. Again, my eyes are high, I'm gonna go cross body. I'm gonna pin his wrist over this arm to block that arm. So now, once I pin this wrist, I'm gonna actually put his hand on the mat, his palm. I'm actually putting his palm on the mat. So again, go across. I put his palm on the mat and then I enforce it with my other hand. So for me, I'm looking up, I step that same side knee up, I'm gonna pass it, and that guard's gonna break. From here, I'm gonna hug that knee, and I'm gonna just bring my elbow in front. And now, I'm gonna put my hips on him, I'm gonna grab, we call this Nessie. Nessie is what keeps him down for the inversion. So if he's a beast at inverting, if I let him like this, he's just gonna start inverting it to me. But if I got his knee down, there's no inverting. He's stuck. Now what's gonna happen, I'm gonna go for my starfish and my Nessie. This is what Eddie calls him. I don't know, he makes up these names, not me. So he's looking for a starfish and his Nessie, and my hips are not on the ground. They're actually in his jaw. And I'm constantly walking back. Me constantly walking back on you is gonna make you tired. It's gonna make you wanna move. It's gonna make you wanna make a mistake. Cross body. I pin that. I'm trying to block this other arm. Because if I do this, he's still gonna grab me with his arm. He's still grab my head. If I'm like this, he'll still grab me with my head with his arm. So, if I, but if I block it, he can't grab my head with his arm. That arm's trapped. So now I'm bringing my knee toward his belly. That guard breaks. I'm looking for this knee. So as I pull this knee back, my hand's gonna go in front. My knee's on his belly. I'm gonna drop my elbow to the mat. I'm gonna look for my Nessie over the top. I'm gonna drive into him, my starfish comes in. Everybody with me? One more time. I'm just driving into him. He's gonna keep walking you back. A little bit of a problem getting up is because this leg's too far. This leg has to be close to the body so my knee can touch his belly. And then that breaks. You know what I'm saying? So now, as that breaks, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin that knee to the mat right there. Now this is the option. For me, I feel like you can go like DM pass, but I feel like the best step from here is once my knee's on the mat, I'm just gonna back that ball. And then I'm gonna go back. So my twister pass. You know what I'm saying? One more time. Yeah, I'm just constantly, think about never looking down. That's like the hardest part for me. Just never look down. Because you're like, oh man, I feel what I look at. It. It's, like, it's hard because you, you, you just want to clinch him. Like, don't tap me, you know. So I'm here, I was tight, I go across, I reinforce, I pivot, I stab down. Once I stab, you can grab the head or you can just drop your elbow. Control this leg, why wouldn't you? This could turn into leg lock. Pivot all the way around. Hips high, here's Nessie, here's my starfish. I like to drive my knee into his stomach all the time. I want him to come up. If he comes up to his knees, we're in game. So hands on the armpits, elbows tight, my eyes are wide. I'm here, I'm looking for this grip. Not this, not this, none of that shit. Elbows tight, <laughs> eyes up, I'm going to cross body. I look to pin that arm, pivot, stab that to the mat. If he wants to block it, Fuck it. Done. You're done. But again, here, hands on the armpits. You don't have to go inside. You can go on top. Elbows tight. Eyes open. Eyes up. Grab across. Look to pin. Step. Stab this to the mat. I'm looking to stab. Like I said, if he blocks, I'm just going to leg lock him. From here, you can grab the head or elbow on the mat. Back step. Control this other leg. Pivot all the way around. Control that with Nessie. 
pivot up, look for your starfish, drive into them. Three steps back. Ready? Let's go. Hands on the armpits, elbows tight, my eyes are open. I'm gonna go cross body. I'm gonna lift the pin out on. If his guard already breaks, he's already leg locked. I'm gonna pivot that knee toward his belly. I'm gonna stab that to the mat. From here, so now, I feel like sometimes he might not let you pass this side. So from here, I'm gonna drive into him. I'm gonna look for this underhook. I'm gonna grab my gable grip and I'm gonna knee slice. to the mat. As I stab this to the mat, I'm going to control him. I'm looking for this underhook. That underhook's behind the shoulder. I'm going to gable grip. My head could be here. I'm just going to knee slice to the other side. So I'm here. My knee's pinned to the mat. My one leg's up. I'm looking for this underhook. That underhook, I grab it. I pinch tight. I drive to the other side. I'm in here. Elbow over. Is that messy? Is that starfish? Get back up. Ready? Let's go. My belly. Reverse your belly. I'm looking for my twister. Bang. I caught that hook. I'm here around the control. My hips are wide. If he swings me to one side, I'm just going to base. There's no way. If he starts to invert, if he starts to invert, I'm going to control the hip. If he starts to come up and inverge him like this, what the fuck? Just stop him. Just don't, just, cause you're like this. This is what happens. I'm watching you guys. You're like this. Oh God, I got him. Then he starts to invert, you're like, you just stop and stare. Uh, Half around me control. What's gonna happen is my leg right here that's on the same side of his head. So that hit, I'm gonna drive my knee behind his head and put it on his shoulder. So now, I'm going to drive my knee under the shoulder and put him on the shelf. I'm going to drive, so my knee's going to bend. I'm going to drive that knee under his head and put him on a shelf. Once this happens, so I have him on my shelf, I'm going to lean him. My, my hand that's holding the shoulder is going to lean him forward. I'm going to push my chest forward, and I'm going to grab double Ds. This one called double Ds, my grip across his chest. So I was holding around me. But if I push him onto his shoulder, that elbow pops out. Then I grab my double Ds. So now to make this simple, I'm gonna step my foot right in the crook of his hip. Deep. You can hold this one hand, but I feel like never let go of nothing. You start switching grips, that's how people get out. You just need to know your route already. I'm just gonna fall back. If I have long legs and I keep body lock, I'm gonna body lock. If you have short legs and you're full of excuses, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm gonna stop on your fucking feet. Driving, controlling, tight. I drive my knee up, right behind his back. My foot is curved toward his back. I have the shoulder right here. I'm gonna push it up to get my double knee. So my knee's behind him like this. His elbows are tight. The moment he opens his fucking hands to be stupid, I'm gonna armbar him. Or get come over. Kimura. Doesn't matter, wherever you want to get it. Remember, when I'm in Harambe control, this control just gives me my Kimuras. So if he's stupid and he rolls to one side, if he's stupid goes to the other side, you can roll into that shit, I don't care. But I'm going to drive up, double D. Bring my foot in the middle of that hip. I'm just going to pull. So, something about this position, before I pull him, I'm not gonna pull him and keep super tight. I'm gonna pull him and let him flow in front of my chest. So I'm here, as I pull him, look. You know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily me right here, but I'm actually letting him flow. When my hands are under him, I like this. You can obviously transfer to your seatbelt, but I actually want you guys to stop right here. Cause this is bad, this is bad for him. Even if I'm like this, or I'm like this, because my Kimura is right here. So everything from, my triangles are right here, everything from here. The truck is super close, but I want you guys to stop. If you got short legs, I want you to do like this. With long legs, you can body lock, body lock. 
One more time. Driving. The round bitch is so tight. I drive my knee behind his head. Double D's. Squeeze him tight. And hit on the side. Slowly. Look at my chest. I move backwards and I let him get in front of me. Slowly, some flow. If you're short, bang. If you're long, bang. Ready? Let's go. Cycle. Just throw it on the pass. Knee on belly. Boom. Pushing, pushing. Here, my harambe control. Driving my chest with him, dropping my hips. I really want to control him. I'm going to drive my knee for his shoulder. This foot's going to get deep on that back, on his back. From here, that foot's going to base. Boom. Here's my double D. So here, in my double D's, clinching tight, my foot's here, I'm gonna pull him. I'm pulling, I'm pulling to my body lock, bang. So boom, once I get to my body lock, my hands are under, right? Can't hear you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, my hands are under him. What's gonna happen now, my body lock's tight, or my foot's like this, or my feet are like this. I like this, this is pretty cool. This right here, I feel like you just knock it off instantly. But right here, my legs are crossed, it's still tight. It's like a shallow body lock, a body cross. From here, I'm gonna hit, basically bump him forward, and then my hand's gonna push his back. I'm pushing his back down to the mat. From here, I'm gonna base on my hand, I'm pushing down, I'm gonna get over him, and I'm gonna punch through. Once I punch through, my fist is gonna come straight through. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna fall back, I'm gonna put my hands on the mat. So I'm like, look at my hands. It's like my hands going to my chest, and then look at my grip right here. I'm gonna fall toward that grip. And look at, look at my, my leg over here. If you're short, your leg's not gonna touch the mat. If you're long, your leg's gonna touch the mat. I want you to lift up to get the tap. It's a crank, it's not a show. It's a fucking crank and I'll break your neck. So boom, in here, pass, down yeah, belly. Reverse down belly, looking for my harambe control. I'm controlling. I drive my knee behind his head to lift him up. Boom, my double Ds. My foot comes, look at this, see that? From here, I'm just, I'm like this, I'm just like, my, 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 my grip's over his arms. You're like, fuck, how am I gonna get this over my head? You're here, you're just gonna open up. And he's gonna go right through. From here, I'm gonna bump him forward. Now I'm gonna put my hand, you put it on the back of his head, it doesn't matter, I just put it on his back. And I base on my hand, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? You're done right here. So I'm saying, I'm just gonna punch, I'm gonna punch, my hand's gonna slide off his back. And I'm gonna punch through. I don't care, if I land on your neck, I'm just gonna crank your fucking neck. Super hard, I'm sorry. That's what's gonna happen. And in an MMA fight, are you not gonna crank their neck? You're gonna crank their neck. You're like, you try to break it off, and they're gonna like, you try to break my neck off. And they're like, so? Whatever. That's just the game. Don't be hurt by anything in the game. If a dude's like driving his elbow, and, <laughs> then that's when he's like, what the fuck are you doing? This, is, this isn't combat jujitsu. But from here, you're just pushing down. I'm gonna push. It's like I'm sliding my hand off his, off his shoulder, off his back. I'm gonna punch through. Once my fist gets through, look at this. I like to fall back to my butt, and my hands are gonna come out toward his ear. Kitty corner. It's not close to his shoulder, it's out. So look at my hands gonna fall, kitty corner, to my grip. Now I'm putting my chest on my grip. Literally, I'm falling my chest to my grip. So now this becomes elbow wide, neck crank. It's, you can feel it as a choke, but for me, it, does it feel like a choke to you? No, I feel like I'm trying to If you back, would it be more of a choke? Yeah, if I felt like this, but I might as well throw one of these on there. How do these look? I was just thinking if you have short legs and you got love that. That's, That's what I do to people who don't know the jiu like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I see high level black girls doing this. What the fuck is this? It's like, it's like, like literally you can see the, the real choke is like this. Watch, look at this. The bat lines. That just, he goes right out. Look at this. That's the real chokes. Bat lines. It ain't. <laughs> You're not getting nowhere with that. So I'm pushing, I'm pushing on his back. I'm gonna punch through, digging down, falling deep. My hand's facing, I'm gonna bring it out far. Like his shoulder's right here, 
gonna bring my hand over here. So now look at I'm trying to get my chest to fall down so it can just turn into like a nasty neck crank head ripper. We call it the Dan Sever. Ready? Let's go! Options. Keeping our belly reverse and pushing and looking for the combat control. Why are you passing the bar? Let's go move up. Pivot. I got my double D. Boom. I pummel them. I'm looking to take the back. Body lock or cross. Okay? From here, I just want to go over to get with you guys. I'm going to come forward. Get on my elbow first. I'm going to start pushing. If I don't feel like I have to push and I can just swing around, welcome. You don't got to do all the rest. You don't have to do all the rest. You know? For me, sometimes I just wrap around his face. That's the, this is what I want you guys to do. I'm going to let you drill now. That first one was the technical version. Now we're going all out Eddie Bravo. That's all he does. He's grabbing you with his forearm the opposite way. He's not doing like this. He's turning his hand and wrapping your whole head. See my fist turn? Look at my, look at my hands at. They're, they're like, oh, now I'm trying to hit that. <laughs> I do grab the shoulder, reverse Americana grip. One, two, three, one, two, boom, control. Stop that back so he can't turn into you. Pivot my knee up and over. Under that elbow. This heel is by his rib cage. I'm gonna look to grab this thumb right here and just go all the way until my foot pops out and then my legs gonna turn. And I'm gonna wrap this triangle tight. From here, my hands already on the thumb. I'm gonna place this behind my armpit, pinch my elbow tight, look to grab under, sneak up grip again, just coming back, grab like you're enforcing it like a heel hook. That's what I usually do. Oh yeah, this is nasty. It's on my hip perfectly. And if you didn't manage to get my leg off, we're just gonna go right back into this arm bar trying to finish. You're not gonna, you're like, no way. Just keep your legs pinched and he's still in the arm bar. Ready? Let's go. My feet are going to start shuffling both ways. So, reverse Americana grip. So now his hand is picked tonight. Okay? So now I'm looking at my seatbelt to reverse Americana grip and holding the shoulder. I just caught him. So now I have the seatbelt and he's on the shoulder. What's going to happen now is I'm going to grab reverse Americana grip. This seatbelt. Drive him up to his back. I'm driving up. So he forces himself to his shoulder and this elbow beats me in front of my chest to the point where I grab a seatbelt. Whoa! Control, reverse my belly, drive back, here's my, here's my Harambe control, I drive him up. So now, so I start to my control, my Harambe control. I drive up. When I drive up, here's my double Ds, I step it inside. So for now, 